Uh, Nick, thanks for joining us. Welcome to Perth. Uh, when did you touch down? Uh, I got in on Saturday, uh, midday, and uh, yeah, straight into it. Um, met the boys um, down at Cottesloe, and uh, yeah, mate, into it, into it Monday morning with the Bronco, and uh, yeah, here we are Tuesday, so straight into it. And um, mate, the transition's been unbelievable. The club's been phenomenal. Um, you know, you know, Scott picked me up from uh, the airport, uh, took me straight to, to my place, and uh, mate, the, everyone's been so accommodating and welcoming, and um, tell you what, it's not a bad place to be right now. You've just come, uh, joined pre-season because you were at the World Cup, so I'm assuming you had a bit of a break after the World Cup. What did you get up to? Yeah, I did. Um, spent a week in Greece uh, with the family who got over. Obviously exited a little earlier than we'd like, so um, yeah, went to Greece and then uh, spent my time in Canberra just wrapping up things. Obviously spent a fair bit of time there. And um, yeah, look, I'm over here alone uh, until after Chrissy, and then my wife and kids will come over, give me a, a few weeks to, to get to know the boys, also set up home base here. I did want to ask you about the family. I think most Force fans will know you on the field, but tell us about yourself off the field. You've got a wife, Melissa, and three boys. I do, yep. Yeah. Uh, wife, Melissa, and um, yeah, she's been with me day dot. I uh, met in 2012, and three little boys, five, three, and one, uh, Leo, Sonny, and Vinny, uh, certainly very much like me. Uh, I feel for my wife, tell her she's got four boys, uh, including me, So and, uh, and two little French Bulldogs. So it's a pretty energetic house, and uh, this place is going to suit them to a tee on the weekend. Couldn't believe how active this place is, so certainly going to suit my young, uh, very active family very well. I think you've previously been nominated for Sports Dad of the Year a few times in the past, so I'm assuming you're a bit of a family man. Uh, yeah, look, <laughs> I think my, my wife uh, is the one who does all the, the hard hard work back home. But yeah, look, I'd, yeah, it's, obviously family means a lot to me. Um, and you know, it was a huge part of the move to be able to bring the, to the family to a place like this. Like I said, um, got here on the weekend, just blown away by obviously this place, the people, um, how accommodating it is, how active it is, the beautiful weather. Um, so look, it's, um, it's going to suit my family to a T and yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a huge part of why I play the game. Talk to us about the move, obviously you've played in France and England and, and lots of super rugby, so why the force? Yeah, I, I've been overseas, I've, you know, like you said, been to France to England, um, you know, I really didn't want to, um, I guess, go overseas again, take a young family over and um, when the opportunity uh, came up to come to the force, like I jumped at it, like it was too good to, to not come to, so yeah, look, you know, obviously what um, Hodjo and Crono are building here excited me um, and I wanted to stay in Australia and like I said, when the opportunity to, to come to a place like Perth, to the force, what they're building, it was too good to say no to, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the next two years and seeing what we can do. And did you know Crono or any of the guys before this? Uh, any, I know you're at the Brumbies, so any connection to the, to the guys? Uh, a few of the boys obviously had come from the Brumbies and I'd, I'd spoken to them. Um, you know, I've spoken to a fair few guys that I, that I know at the Tars that have had uh, Chrono before and um, you know, it, you know, everything from um, all, everyone I spoke to, um, you know, both within rugby and outside of rugby, I know a lot of guys. Um, over here, living here, it just all, all sounded too good uh, to say no to. So, look, it was, it was uh, yeah, it was all positive. So, um, I made the decision really easy. Now I know you've got a pretty successful history, you've won titles in France and England and also the Brumbies, so are you excited about what can happen here at the Force? Yeah definitely, like I said, it, it's what Hodjo and Crono are building here that excites me. A uh, young group and, uh, you know, and the program here is really good, so you know, it's, it's, I'm excited about what we can do. I'm also excited for what um, it can give to me, you know, like um, you know, I still want to continue to grow my game, get better and, and I feel like this is the right place to do that. Uh, give me a, a kick later in my career and um, you know, I'm certainly not holding back at the moment. And yeah, you know, it's, it's very exciting what um, we can do as a group. I dare say there's also a nice competition for spots in your position as well which will help you get that kick. Yeah, it is. In, in my position, I think across the whole squad, and I think that's something the boys have spoken about. Um, you know, the, the depth that you know potentially been lacking the last couple of years. There's plenty of it here at the moment, certainly in my position and, and a few others, and that's what you're going to need to go deep into the Super Rugby competition. So, look, that all sounds good. There's a lot of hard work to be done before we get to that stage. So, uh, just enjoying pre-season, to be honest. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to, to rip into a pre-season for a while, so a uh, good chance to just put in a lot of hard work, and, and there's certainly plenty of that going on. Nick, thanks for your time and welcome to the Force. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.